Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Vintage Story. So, last episode, we got this building set up. And, I mean, there's still a bit of progress to do to this building. Um, a lot of cleaning up and just adding a lot of detail, but we did get this implemented. And, um, of course, this is like our mason, our mason building. And Ashantine suggested that maybe we take the dirt and we put that in the... Uh, like the greenhouse area or the plant nursery or whatever I end up building for plants, um, which would actually make a lot of sense. So we are going to do that. We're going to, uh, we'll go ahead and remove this stuff. And this is going to get actually moved to the plant nursery whenever we set that up. <laughs> it would make a bit more sense there, right? So uh, very, very good call on that. So today, um, first up, first and foremost, um, I'm not sure, I, I know I requested this, I was talking to Tyron and I requested this a while back and I don't know when he added it, but it has been, I wasn't sure of the recipe, but the recipe has been updated on the wiki and we have a recipe for something that I want to make, that I have been craving to make. So let's grab ourselves just some rocks and what we are going to make, if we place dirt right there, we place stone. Of course, that's how to make a stone path. But if we place a little bit more stone right there, we can make stone path stairs. These take three of that stone and one of the other stone. And we can craft these. So, yay! Now we can craft stairs that match our stone paths. And I'm actually curious to see, because I haven't tested these in a test world. I've been, I've been really curious if we still keep the speed boost on those. Because I'm not for sure. I mean, does it really matter if we don't? No, because, you know, unless you just have a lot of stairs. Um, I wonder why that's got a black texture right there. It's the same blocks. <laughs> I don't know. I have no clue. Um, anyways, if we put these down, um, which I will have to change that to stone paths, that'll be fine. Um... No, but also in this game, you actually kind of walk up the stairs where, like, with, with say, like, Minecraft, it's more of like a slope, it feels like, with the with the way that your character moves across it. So, um, our character does pause to walk up the steps, but that doesn't actually bother me. As long as they look good, I'm happy. And look at that, they even get the randomized textures on them. Oh, it's great. It is absolutely great. So, a big thank you to Tyron for adding that in, because... That has saved my life. <laughs> it has truly saved my life because um, otherwise I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do. I mean, once the chisel comes out, we could have always chiseled some stairs. Oh, and look at that. Fences don't connect to them. Ha ha. Awesome. It's perfect. It is perfect. So anyways, today what we're going to be doing, what we're going to be working on is I would like to get the bloomery up and going. I'd also like to go back to that one place where we were mining for gold before I would like to go back there and finish uh, getting everything out of that dungeon. So I don't know if we're going to start with the bloomery first or the dungeon. I guess we will... Let's see. I've got fire clay in here. We need to make some fire clay bricks for starters. And I guess we should probably make um, a few of these. I'm going to do like two stacks of fire clay, which is going to give us a half stack of fire clay bricks. And then we're going to have to smelt these up for our bloomery. And let's go ahead and just toss that into there. And get these going. And while that's running, I'm going to go ahead and empty out my inventory a bit. Um, I'm actually probably just going to dump it in our dump chest for right now. Because some of the stuff I'm actually using at the moment. I do need to bring my food with me. Okay, my inventory is pretty well emptied now. It is pretty well empty. And then, when do these 1100 degrees is what we need to cook fire clay bricks. I tell you what, actually, while that's running, I've got the uh, I've got the recipe page opened up on my second screen here. I always keep it open whenever I'm playing this game. Even though some of the recipes, I'm actually getting to where some of the recipes I can remember, I don't have any blue clay. I was wanting to make um, some blue clay bricks too, but... Let's see, four servings, six servings. Okay, I'm going to take that. Okay. 
And right now I'm about capped on fruit, but I need vegetable grain and protein. And whenever we go out there, I guess I should probably bring like an extra couple picks and an extra shovel maybe. Um, okay, that's smelting at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and craft those up because I might, while I'm out there, I might do a little bit of mining. I'm not going to promise that I won't anyways. So, okay, that's kicking away. We actually need quite a few of these fire clay bricks though. So, and they do take a little while to smelt. All right, do we have any eggs out here? We do. We got one egg. And I guess while that stuff is smelting, um, I'm not for sure if it's going to keep smelting while we're gone. But we're going to go ahead and head on out. Which, of course, it's nighttime. That's fine. Um, I mean, I guess I could go sleep real quick. Might be a little bit easier to get back there because it has been it has been a little while since I was last out there. But I still kind of remember where it's at, roughly. And I have a pretty... I like to think I have a pretty good sense of direction, usually. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and... <laughs> <laughs> and lose things but uh i think generally and i was trying to remember exactly where i was at and everything so i think we should be able to get back of course you can once again you can make waypoints in this game if you want to there is a whole waypoint system and it's all detailed on the wiki and you can add custom colors and names and all that good stuff um, but by choice i'm not using that so because i'm crazy like that and i kind of think it's fun to uh like i would like to build roads and kind of use those roads as like my method of finding my way around. But if you don't like that, you can you can do uh, waypoints. So try to kill some of these as I go. Um, I do want to get into like some serious animal industry before too long, but because uh, we're gonna need more uh, lumps of fat, and we will be getting into that a bit more heavily here soon. Haha! <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, we got bush meat from the wolf. We got red meat from the sheep. So, that's a change. And then there's also... I was thinking there's another type of meat, but maybe it's eggs that I'm thinking of. But I think there's another type of meat. Maybe chicken. I think chicken has its own meat category, maybe. Okay, so we are headed out through the snow. And basically, we're going to run through the snow... And then it's going to change to like a grasslands again, and then we're going to run through it, and then we're going to run through to a nether snow area, and that's what we're looking for. So it's a little, a little bit of a jaunt out here, but I have faith in us. See, it's like out past here. Now I do want to grab a little bit of this glacier ice because I had some before, if you recall, and I tossed it down to make inventory space. And now I don't have any more for the uh, for the mason building. Even though the ice might not end up staying in the mason building because it kind of doesn't fit. But uh, for right now, it'll stay there until I build. Uh, I'm thinking kind of like a fridge area. And you know, actually, whenever I was in um, when I was in Japan, we went to uh, to a cave there, and the cave used to be used for refrigeration. Um, it was there at the, like, the base of Fuji. And actually, at the base of Fuji, the forest there is, like, really cold, like, in the wintertime. And the caves there were kind of the same way. It was, you know, it was really, really cold in those caves. And we went down in one, and they still, they left the food there because it wasn't really used as a refrigeration <laughs> place anymore, you know, in, like, modern-day Japan. But um, at the time, it had been used for refrigeration, and they, they had food that they had left there as kind of just, like, not really a memorial, but, you know, kind of like a... A piece of the past, I guess. And, uh, anyways, they had food there, and, uh, it was from, like, uh, around the World War II era, I believe it was, but, um, you know, it had stayed there, and it was still, you know, it was still, I guess, kept. I mean, I don't think anybody would eat it, but, uh, yeah, see, there we go. Chicken meat. We get chicken, uh, poultry from killing chickens. But anyways, that's kind of what I'm thinking is doing like a cave refrigeration um, for the for the base. It's kind of what I'm thinking. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> I actually didn't mean to hit you. In fact, I'm just trying to gather all these berry bushes. 
Okay, how are we doing on nutrition? Okay, protein's really, really good at the moment. Go ahead and eat one of those. Okay, so we got to keep going down along this way. Yeah, and right over here is the next snow place that we need to get to. All right, that's great. Might actually, whenever I come back, well, I probably won't have space. I was about to say, I might chop down some of those pine trees because um, I never, never have too much wood, so. But I don't know. I doubt I'm going to have the spice, in truth. Because I'm probably just going to, like, stock up on other stuff while I'm at the mine that's way out here. I can't wait till, um, I can't wait till mine carts and stuff are added. I really, really can't. <laughs> Like, mine carts and, like, transportation. I don't know if there's going to be, like, horses or anything. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, hey. I see you. Oof. It's actually a little bit scary because I am i don't have a whole lot of health at the moment. You know what we need to make? We need to make medicine. And there's horse tails right here. But I think... Uh, let me check real quick. I think we need linen. Um, I'm going to pause it so I don't get attacked, but I believe we need... Um, let's see, there's ones that take sulfur and honey. Cattails. Uh, there's horsetails and cattails together, and then there's horsetails with linen. Um, like there's horsetail linen poultice, horsetail reed poultice. Okay. The only thing is, I don't have a knife on me, but I guess it's not a big deal because we can still gather cattails. It's just going to break the cattail if we do it without a knife, but I mean, I could make a flint one, I guess, but I'm okay with just tearing them up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we can take the cattails, the horse tail, and we can make poultice. There we go. And this stuff, we can use it like that and get HP back. Um, I'm not for sure if we can grow horsetail, though. That's my main concern is, like, horsetail is... That and honey is what you use to make all your medicine. Like, you can either do horsetail or honey, which I guess, ideally, we should start looking for bees. Um, we probably will here soon. I promise. <laughs> Something I've been meaning to do, and we haven't even started getting into bees, and every time I watch uh, Ashanti's videos, like... I get this major craving to do bees because they look amazing and she's always doing bees um, and bee related things. Plus we can get like lanterns and candles and all that stuff. And I still have yet to do it <laughs> because I'm always, there's too much to do on here and I'm always like sidetracked with something else <laughs> that I'm working on. So I'm going to get, I'm going to get enough to make one more set of these but we do need to start like legitimately getting into medicines i do want to look into if we can grow horse tail or not i don't like i said i don't think that we can i think we actually have to just go out and harvest that um and i've got i've actually got a bunch back at the base but what i would really like to do is do like um of course we're going to have that weaver's hut over near that little lake near the base, and it's gonna we're gonna fill it up with reeds here soon because I've got to start getting reeds and planting those around there. But we're gonna fill that up with reeds, and I'm thinking we should do like a healer's hut type uh, place right next to that lake as well. Is what I'm thinking. Look at that. Look at them pro skills at getting back to where um, where I was looking for. Oh look, our torches are now extinct. Okay, I believe it was down this hole. I've actually got two holes that lead down to the mining area. Yes, look at that. Man. And it's it's actually been like a week or two since I came here. <laughs> I got us back perfectly. Perfectly. Okay, so we've got loot vessels. These are all forage ones. And then we have a chest here with a scroll. And speaking of, we actually have a scroll that we have not read. I mean, I've got it saved in the journal, the morning. We have not read that one. And then we just got, uh, it must have been a duplicate that we just got. So, uh, copper arrow and 10 bronze arrowheads. I'm going to take the arrowheads. I'm not worried about the arrow because um, I know after, let's see, after the video that we got arrows, like a while back, we got a bow and arrow and everything. Um, 
but they were kind of, as far as power goes, they were kind of underwhelming then. But uh, I know Tyron said he buffed them up, so we will definitely check those out. And then there's a peasant shirt there. Okay. Oh, man. There's like aged wood all up in here. I don't know if this... No, it doesn't look like it leads anywhere, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Let's check out the loot vessels. There's actually a lot of them. I doubt I'm going to be able to get all this stuff, even steel. What did we get? We got dry grass, blue clay, and sticks. I'll tell you what. I have no need for dry grass. I have no need for sticks. I'm going to keep the blue clay just because I will make use of that. We just got shale, more dry glass, grass, and fire clay. Okay, I don't really need that. Uh, flint and sticks. Don't need that. It doesn't seem like these forage uh, things are all that great. They're just kind of like, meh, whatever. Type loot. Uh, looks like more shell stone and fire clay. Okay. Yeah, we might actually be able to take all this stuff back. Because half of the stuff I don't actually even want uh, at the moment. Because, like, sticks... The only time I want sticks is after I make a bunch of ladders. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm low on sticks. But that's easily fixed, honestly. Okay. I do want all these granite stone bricks, though. I'm going to be here for a while mining, I can already tell you. Because I want the aged wood, which... There's actually not a whole lot of aged wood here, but there is the aged wood fences, which I do want. And then I do want this blue wallpaper on something... It's like a blue wallpaper on aged planks. I do want that. And then I want all these granite stone bricks. And I don't really want this medium fertility soil. I don't even know where I got half that stuff, to be perfectly honest. Like, just things I collected naturally on my way here, I guess. I love these new mining sounds so much. Like, they are so much better. Like, I didn't mind the mining sounds before, but... These, like, you know, I was kind of, uh, I guess I was almost, like, indifferent to the mining sounds before, but these I love so much. Like, these are ones I actually like to just, like, sit and listen to. You know. Oh. And there's this. <laughs> okay. Well, we still have lots to check out in this little area. Like... I want to build, it's such a long way though, like part of me wants to build a road out to here um, to like speed everything up, but I mean you're talking about a lot of distance because I mean it, it's a bit of a jaunt over to here to be perfectly honest, it does take a while, so, and you know one thing I would love to see is gravity, um, especially like when it comes to like mining and stuff like that, um, Gravity and support and, you know, I don't know exactly what the term would be. But, like, whenever you're mining, like, if I was to dig out this room, like, this stuff would start collapsing. Because I've broken the supports out. I love stuff like that. There was actually, um, it's actually a mod for Minecraft that, uh, I used to play around with a lot in 1.7. And that's what it did, was it added in, you know, like... If you don't support your structures, they'll collapse and stuff like that. It's just, I would love to see that on here. I know I'm, I'm probably not part of the majority on that, but I know a lot of people don't like that kind of stuff, but I would love to see that. But I would also love to see lots and lots of mobs. I would. I would indeed. So, let's see. But yeah, I want all these granite bricks because these are not craftable at the moment. Um... I know it was, I asked about them on the Discord, because I was actually wanting to build with these. And there's like, there's granite bricks, and there's andesite bricks and stuff. Um, you can obtain them in these places. And then, whenever the traders are added, we'll be able to trade for these. Um, now, that's not to say, I guess, that there's not going to be a recipe, like, long term, maybe. But, uh, as of right now, I don't think that there's any, any way at the moment to craft these. From what I understand. Okay, I'm going to toss down uh, cranberries. Because I don't really need them. Okay, I'm finished up down there. Um, I got 
three and a half stacks of granite stone bricks, which should be enough to do quite a bit of building with, I think. And then in addition, I did spend a little bit of time mining um, about a pick worth, I'd say. Because um, I broke that one pick that we had and I got another one down to about half durability. But I dug out another branch in my branch mine looking for gold. <laughs> Didn't find any. Um, I think we're probably going to need to make some ore blasting bombs in truth. Uh, before we worry too much about that gold, I just kind of figured I'd pop down there. Plus I wanted to get... Um, while I was down there, I got a quartz block. Quartz and granite. So, I did want to get one of those so that we've got it for whenever we set up the miner hut. I'm going to gather, like, horsetails and berry bushes on my way back. Um, I'm not going to make you guys watch me run the whole way back, but I'm just kind of gathering up some things. Because I think if we do, like, a healer hut, I guess would be what we call it, like, it'll be, like, home remedy type stuff. I guess, and it'll be um, there on that lake by the uh, by the reed, or by the uh, basket weavers, and I'm thinking we're going to plant some of those horsetails around it, and um, probably make a little, like, herb garden, maybe put, like, mushrooms back there, and, like, horsetails, and any kind of other, like, little plants and herbs we can find, I mean, I know there's, like, a bunch of them uh, within the game, little flowers, and hey, there's a wolf, <laughs> Um, just little things like that. Okay, we're just about home. Um, there's our mountains. So, it's not, it's actually not that bad of a run. Um, it takes about, I mean, sprinting the whole way, it takes about a half a day. If you're going straight there. Of course, I tend to stop and I collect horsetails or berry bushes or something like that. But it's actually not that far of a run. Um, I love this lake. Because it's so big. Like, it is a massive lake. But, uh, anyways, whenever I get back, I'm going to plant those berry bushes down. I'm going to get settled, and then we're going to get back into working on the bloomery. And I want to read that passage that we got that the morning. So, I'll be back here in just a minute. Okay, um, I'm back at the base, and we have... I've, I've added some more coal to the bricks. They actually take quite a bit. And I tossed down, like, there's our lake ice and our glacier ice, which, like I said, that'll probably end up getting moved. But for right now, I'm going to leave it there because it's such a pretty, pretty block. I want to use it in some builds before too long. Um, also, I tossed out our granite stone bricks and some shell cobblestone. And uh, I guess I'm going to... There's also the clay block one that goes there. And, by the way, I am planning on, uh, once I get some of these, like, block piles put in... I'm going to take some of those rocks and like put them around here like the little like pebbles. Since you can place those on the ground, I do plan on putting some of those around out here, like the outside sections like that. And then if we pop over here, our, um, I got to feed the animals. <laughs> we need to get really heavy into animal husbandry because I want lots of animals. But look at our berry farms. Like that's cranberry and... That's blueberry. So, and then I've been working up this. It's like a nonstop struggle because it seems like, I don't know, like uh, if I get like fruit max, then these fall. And then if I start eating something else, like fruit falls back down and like I can't get above like 19 health um, because I just, I can't upkeep them. So I don't know if you just have to have like a food that has everything in it. To actually be able to like keep up the nutrition, like it falls as fast as you gain it, so it's like hard to uh, to upkeep it all. But anyways, we've got fire bricks. We're gonna go ahead and take those, and we can make ourselves a bloomery. That's how you make the bloomery base, and then we need to make the bloomery top, the chimney. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a second base because I'm actually going to want two of these, the blacksmith, and then we're probably going to want another one or another two at the glass blowers. Kind is kind of what I'm thinking. I'm going to go ahead and toss some more coal in there. I won't need that much, but um, let's go ahead and set these up. I'm thinking just two at the blacksmith should be good. And I'm thinking we're going to set these up like let's See if I put one there and I put let's See how do I want to do this? One there and one there, maybe? Uh-oh. 
okay, if you break the bloomery base, you don't get back all the fire bricks. Which I seem to remember that being mentioned actually in one of Ashanti's videos. <laughs> and I slipped my mind. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to craft another one. And I'm going to make sure I put it in the right place this time. I wonder if this would work. Can I make it fall? No, it's not affected by gravity. Okay. Well, um, I think right there would be okay. And then if I did another one setting like... I'm actually thinking where I had them might be best. Like one here and one over there. I think that would be okay. And then you can kind of still come around here. I mean, I don't walk around behind this all that much, but... Um, I think, I think that'll be all right. We're going to do that. Then if we put the bloomery top on there, which it's not, oh no. <laughs> it's not facing the right way. <laughs> no. Okay, well anyways, I'm going to show you guys how this works real quick. Which this is going to be really important for whenever we start smelting iron. We have to find iron first. But Well, maybe if I have this one facing in this direction, this one facing in this direction, it's actually not that bad. Maybe. Um, and this is actually my first time using these. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to grab ourselves some coal. Charcoal. Um, I think you can use... I think you can use other types of coal, if I recall correctly. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take our quartz and we're just going to right-click this into there. And 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How many pieces can I put in this thing? 20 pieces. We could place 20 pieces of quartz. And then if we were to... Let's see, is it, is it uh, shift? Right click. Can we not take it back out? Okay, maybe we can't take it back out. But then we can take our charcoal and we can just right click it into there. And actually at the top there you can see Bloomery Base. It has so much charcoal and it has so much quartz in there. So we're going to put in 10 pieces of charcoal and 20 quartz. And see what we get. So let's take our torch. And... Oops. We're going to hold shift and right click and get this thing started. There we go. And it's going to start emitting smoke. Oh, you know what? We actually need 10 more charcoal because it does smell one to one and I can't smell 20 quarts with 10 charcoal. So then we'll light it and we'll give it just a second here. There we go. And you can see some smokes coming out of the chimney and it is working. And it's going to take a little while and it's going to cook down that quartz. And from this, we're going to get glass. And this is the this is actually a different type of glass than we were making before. Like the blacksmith has uh, this this uh, quartz glass, and then we're going to be making I believe it's called clear quartz glass. So it's not going to have that like dirty, dingy look to it that this has. Um, it's going to be a bit of a like a clearer glass. So and look at that. You can actually see sparks kind of flying out of the bottom of this. That is so cool. And then after a while, it's going to quit smoking. And you can see contents 10 glass. So we're going to take and we're going to take our pick and just break this. And which I don't, I really don't know why I was so worried about positioning on it. <laughs> because we're just going to turn around and break it. But there is our glass. Okay, it's just called glass. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and make another bloomery base. And another... Actually, I need two chimneys, right? And we'll go ahead and just put that, pow, right there. And then we'll put that down. And as you can tell, we're going to need a lot of those bricks. But we got ourselves a bit of glass, which is what I wanted. And probably the next time we use these, it'll probably be for iron. I'm thinking what we're probably going to do is, like, next episode's going to be a building episode. And I've already decided what we're going to be building. If you recall, in the last building video, I mentioned that I wanted to start working on the windmill here soon. Next episode, we're going to start working on the windmill, which if you're like me, I love windmills. I absolutely love them. I think they're probably one of the most beautiful things ever. I hope I can do it justice, but um, we are going to we are gonna start the windmill. I doubt that we're going to get it done next episode, but I would like to get a windmill up and placed down. But then the following episode that's like our progression or miscellaneous type episode, we are going to be looking for iron. We're going to go try to find ourselves some limonite. Um, since we have the bloomeries, we can easily move into iron tools once we mine up a little bit of that. 
And then we might start into looking for bays a little bit. That's not to say that we're going to start bays, but we're, we're going to start looking into getting into bays. But um, anyways, that's the glass that we made. Like that's the new, that's like the smooth, clean glass. So as you can tell, it doesn't have that like dingy look like the quartz glass does. Um, but actually, like I said, I love it on this blacksmith because it looks like dirt on the windows. And that's kind of what I want. So some of the buildings we're going to use quartz glass. Some of the buildings we're going to use clear glass. Some of the buildings not even going to get a window like that building over there. I actually just like the shutters. So we'll go ahead and just snap that off. And of course this doesn't go outside of the, uh, the mason building because this is, this is going to go in the glass, uh, the glass blowers building. About to call it blast glowers, but I've been putting all the blocks over here right now. Like even if they don't go over here, I've been putting them out, um, or putting them into the chest for right now, because that's kind of like where all of our building materials get stored at the moment. But anyways, I know it's about wrapping up point four of this episode, so I am going to end this one out here. Uh, like I said, next episode we're going to be building and we're going to get into a black uh, blacksmith. <laughs> I'm at the blacksmith, but we're going to get into a uh, windmill, which I think it's about time. I'm actually really excited. I wouldn't mind having a couple windmills around the town, but I am planning on having, at, at like, we're going to be working on one next episode, and I do plan on also building a water wheel, hopefully, a little bit later, because we have that big, like, water, I'm going to have the streams that come down. I'd like to have a water wheel there um, as well. Maybe, like, a lumber mill type setup over there. We'll see. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.